Hi viewers, good morning. This is Raji Ramkrishnan from rasavinsuvai.blogspot.in. Today I am going to make Nillika Rasam. Nillika means Amla Gooseberry, it is known as. Here I have taken around 3, three uh, Amlas. Uh, this is uh, this Amla I have uh, put it in the salt water and kept it. So after a few days you know it will become very soft and we make chutney out of this. If you are using fresh Amla then you have to just steam it for a few minutes so that it becomes soft and I have taken around 3 garlic cloves and one small piece of ginger a small piece of uh, green chilli pudina and coriander leaves and one tomato a kokum around 4 petals jaggery 1 teaspoon and for the tempering I have taken um, one red chilli um, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, chana dal and um, black pepper here this is the rasam powder, chili powder around 2 teaspoon of um, rasam powder half teaspoon chili powder turmeric powder quarter teaspoon asafoetida curry leaves, ghee salt the main ingredient of the of any dish Rasam is a South Indian dish. You can serve it as a soup also. And we all love to have Rasam Chadam, that is Rasam rice, Rasam Bada, etc. It's quite tasty. Now, what I'm going to do first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind the garlic, ginger, green chili. Pudina, Kutmir, Tomato into a fine paste. I used to add some curry leaves also in it because um, curry leaves is good, very good for health and um, it helps in growing your hair also. So I always add curry leaves in the dish wherever possible. I used to grind and put it or I used to put the curry leaves powder in it because we tend to throw the curry leaves if you are putting the whole curry leaves in the dish now let me grind the ingredients now you must have observed that i am using uh, earthen pot for making the dish it's like quite healthy and it's tasty too so i have adopted this method now now I have put around 2 teaspoon of ghee in this It's very hot I will put the curry leaves in it The tempering ingredients like mustard seeds, cumin seeds, black pepper, etc. is done. Now I will add the, the ground paste in it. That is the tomato green chili. Coriander, pudina, garlic, ginger etc. Now let us saute this for few moments. 
I have sauteed this well now. I am going to add the amlas in it. The powders, asafoetida, rasam powder, chili powder, all goes in this. The kokum petals, jaggery, now if you want you can cook dal and use for the rasam but today I am making the rasam without the dal. Now it is time for us to add the water in this. The salt goes in this now. Now keep the flame low for simmering this for some time. When it is ready you can serve it along with rice, steamed rice, garnish with uh, the chopped coriander leaves. The lovely rasam is ready now. You don't have to boil this, just simmer it and serve hot with uh, steamed rice. If you want you can put the whole uh, avla also in this. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you will love this. The amlas are available now, plenty. You can try this recipe and do give me the feedback. Subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment.